Red cherry shrimp are incredibly hardy and adaptive, and they can and will thrive in a wide range of water parameters. In this video, we can discuss the optimum parameters for red cherry shrimp and how those parameters might be reached. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Richard, and I'm the owner of the fishkeepinganswers.com website. So first off, what are water parameters? Water parameters are essentially the makeup of the water. The most frequently measured parameters are temperature, pH, nitrate levels, and how hard or soft the water might be. There are other parameters that shrimp keepers might consider, including TDS, or total dissolved solids in the water, but these are more advanced parameters and we can consider those in a future video. First, let's look at the most commonly measured parameter, and that's water temperature. Red cherry shrimp are incredibly adaptive when it comes to water temperature. In my own fish room, I currently keep them with everything from a large group of fantail goldfish, which run at around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22 Celsius, to my discus tank, which is closer to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. Essentially, red cherry shrimp will do well almost no matter what the water temperature. I've even read accounts of people keeping their red cherry shrimp outdoors all year round, even in colder climates. Water temperature is probably one of the easiest parameters to measure. Simply insert a thermometer into the aquarium, wait for the temperature on the thermometer to stabilize, and read the display. Providing the water is somewhere between 57 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 14 to 30 degrees Celsius, your shrimp will be fine. The next most frequently checked parameter is probably the pH of the water. The pH is basically how acidic or alkaline the aquarium water is. For most of us, we stick with whatever pH our tap water is. Although there are ways we can adjust and manipulate the water's pH, shrimp will be fine living in water with a pH anywhere from 6.5 to 8.0, which covers the vast majority of tap water people will end up keeping their shrimp in. If your water has a pH which is lower than 6.5, you can increase the pH by adding something like crushed coral, which will, will dissolve in the water and, and, and raise the pH. But truth be told, unless your water is vastly different from 6.5 to 8.0, the shrimp will be fine. I wouldn't waste your time manipulating the water. There are two main ways we can measure the pH of the water. One is with a liquid test kit, and the other is with test strips. Both methods are fairly accurate, although liquid test kits like the API Master Test Kit are typically more accurate than the test strips. Truth be told, you only need a rough guide to your pH. For, for red cherry shrimp, you don't need to know exactly. As long as your test method gives you an approximate pH of your water, you'll be absolutely fine. So, the third parameter we should test for is the nitrate levels in our water. Nitrates are essentially the results of the nitrogen cycle, which is the process whereby bacteria living in our aquariums, and especially in our aquarium filters, turn fish waste, which is high in ammonia, which is very toxic to fish, firstly into nitrite, which is less toxic, although can still kill fish and shrimp very quickly, and then into nitrate, which is only harmful to our fish and shrimps in high concentrations. Again, nitrates can be tested using either a liquid test kit or test strips. The good news about nitrates is if they are higher than we might like, we can easily reduce the levels by doing a partial water change in our aquarium. Changing 10 to 50% of the water will typically lower the nitrate levels by 10 to 50%, meaning we can alter them quickly and easily, making the water safe for our shrimp to live in. Now, internet wisdom will tell you that red cherry shrimp should be kept in a maximum of 40 to 60 parts per million or less. But from my own personal experience, I have some tanks that typically run up to 100 parts per million of nitrates, and the shrimp do absolutely fine. As long as we don't get to extreme levels, typically red cherry shrimp are incredibly hardy and they will be fine. Now, the final parameter to discuss in this video is the hardness of the water. The water's hardness relates to the amount of dissolved calcium and magnesium in the water. So people will usually describe their water as either being hard, meaning there are high levels of dissolved calcium and magnesium, 
or they'll describe it as being soft, meaning it has very few particles of dissolved calcium and magnesium. Red cherry shrimp, again, are incredibly adaptable. I personally live in a hard water area. I have friends who keep shrimp in very soft water and they all do equally fine. It's not a parameter you need to stress over. So another question I'm frequently asked is, do red cherry shrimp eat their babies? And I answer that question in the video linked on the screen. Thanks for watching.